very, very windy. And it's coming from behind Manly in the first half, blowing, for those of you that know Cogra's Jubilee, into the scoreboard oh, corner. Coming from the school end and blowing into the scoreboard corner. Manly right to left, Kevin Roberts the man with the whistle. Hegarty and 14 to kick off. There it is. Going down for Johnson. Manley's game plan would be very predictable. And that would obviously be to play it in St George's half and with this gale behind them. That's where coach Bobby Fortin would want it. Craig Young. Good performance there by St with tremendous force in tackles. Phil Blake. Johnson, right underneath it, beautifully positioned, Brian Johnson. And uh, that's a good run by the St George tackle again. Gee, Beatty's made some tackles for a centre. Blake. Blake, he's away. He's got two to beat. Inside for Brown, across for Thompson. That's a try for the Eagles. Try for Manley. Phil Blake. Worked his way free of the defence. St George, Dowling getting away from dummy half. He's 15 metres out. Manly leading, 8-0. Craig Young, Perry Haddock, Morris Haddock. Kick to the, uh, to the open wing. Oh, what a great take by Johnson. Immediately tackled by Cleal. Running with it is Beatty. Beatty goes for the line, very close. He's three metres out. This is Stevie Morris. He holds it up. He'll go himself. He grabs it. Oh, I think, he, I think he got it. No. No. I think he's going to give a penalty try. He's given a penalty try, I think. He's put him in the bin. Philip Blake, professional foul. Penalty try one way to lose your eight-point lead very quickly. The crowd going mad here at Cogra's Jubilee. Morris grabbing ahead. Then he had to, uh, well, he was tackled, not in possession, but he's even. Manly inside the five. Chris Johns takes a quick tap and pinches. Oh, he's gone through. Away now to Morris. Oh, shut the gate. The horse has bolted half an hour ago. The complexion of the game has changed a lot since he was last there. <laughs> They've won it, Manly. Out to close. Hegarty in from fullback. Made the extra. Cole Dryer's put it down. Michael BD. He can't pass. But a quick play the ball and there's trouble for Manly. And uh, that's what they're trying to do as Wynn takes it up and still going as Graham Wynn slips the ball to Johns. Johns is tackled. Fighter Paul Morris is tackled. They should go to the left here, the Saints, but they're coming to the right. Haddock, Stone, Johnson! Johnson scores! Brian Johnson scores! And St. George lead. By Brown, Thompson... Five gone for the Eagles. They'll put it up. Blake the man to watch. Here's Blake. Turn back for Cleal. Cleal to Hasler. Hasler to close and he's in. No, oh, it's been ruled forward. He's ruled the pass forward from Hasler. Jarvis. Hand off. Johns. He's really slippery, this fellow. He gets over the ground very fast. Hegarty, he's beaten Hegarty. Carey's coming at him. Will he pass? He doesn't. But that was a... ...inside of halfway. Ten minutes gone, second half. Dowling, short ball for Jarvis. Oh, good ball. Paul Morris. He's wrong-footed them. Blake's got him. And Morris has tackled just outside the 20. I was going to say earlier in that first half, Bill Steve Morris... 
I don't think I've seen him play better football in his entire career than he's playing this year. He's going looking for the ball. It's the mark of a player that's got confidence, prepared to rove all over the field and not just stay on his wing and wait for the play to come for him. He's looking to make things happen. Oh, Young, a great pass to win. He's hearing a call. He can hear the call from Johnson, but he can't get the ball to win. Graham Winder player down on the Manly 22. The Dragons are just carving Manly up at the moment. It's out to Robert Stone. He's got Johns with him. Gets a one-hander away to Jarvis. Jarvis back to Johns, and Johns is tackled. Full pace, and the Manly defensive line, which is holding, just can't make the tackle. They're not going up. Yeah, the front, that, that, that one line of Manly's is just waiting for the St George attack to come. Here's Jarvis again, standing. Like he, he's playing in a game of touch football. A, a handoff from Winder, had it, had it. He comes out the other side. He's inside the 22 and reaches the 10-metre line. You saw three or four passes strung together then by St George, and when it went to the outside player, the Manly player still hadn't moved up to make the tackle. Walsh, he gets a ball around the corner for Morris. Morris has scored. Paul Morris has scored. Well, what a beautiful pass by Chris Walsh. And we've seen it before from this second row forward from St George. Chris has already got a touch of the ball. What in the name of goodness happened there? It was Manly fans, plenty of them, starting to stream out of Cogra. Gerard. Harvey. Barring injury, it'll be hard to see Roy Masters changing this St George side. The forwards, an awesome pack. Vorton, good ball to Blake. Bostead's been knocked over in transit, but Blake will go on and score, I think. Yes! Phil Blake scores. Manly second try. St. George 28, Manly 14. Long run. It didn't take them very far. In an onward direction. Here's Hasler. Away from Haddock. Steadies. Picked up Harvey. He won't have the pace. Davis might. I said might. They've got him. Good chase by Beattie. Tremendous chase by Michael Beattie. Played by Davis, passed by Thompson, swept across the line by Melrose and Brown. And then to Vorton. And Manly are going to score again. Vorton scores Manley's second try in the space of two minutes. He laid the... And he's ruled the turnover. There's the siren. It's all over. A very big win by St George. 28 to 20. I think I'm right in saying a flattering scoreboard, really, for Manly. But uh, an enormous win for St George coming up to the semi finals. Steve Morris, a penalty try and a try. Brian Johnson and Paul Morris scored the other tries. So the name Morris has been very prominent in discussions. Guerin kicked six goals. A couple of them were beauties. And for Manly...